Hi, welcome back to another episode of Only Fee Hands with me, Karen Elizabeth Feehan, and for the last time, Jared Schwartz. <laughs> well, this, this, that's news to me. Thanks for having me back on, Karen. This is Jared's goodbye episode, so the theme today is saying farewell to Jared. Excellent. <laughs> I um, love it. Francis Ellis is here today. One of my favorite comics working right now in New York City. I'll tell you what. Look at this face. Look at these eyes. He's a, he's a stud. Here he's I such am. a stud. Oh, thank you. He's killing it. <laughs> so sweet. He's late because our idiot producer, Pat, told him the <laughs> wrong address. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, but he's still made it here. Well, I love, I do love Pat. Pat helps <laughs> me with some clips. I know. Patty clips. Patty yeah, clips. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and every time I see him, I say, Patrick Samaha, <laughs> like, um, I don't know, like I'm handing him a, a dish of sushi or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Samaha. Samaha. I think of Samaha, and I think it's like Yamaha. Yeah, Yamaha. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. of the same thing. Okay, good. Are you a piano player? <laughs> I am not. No. I just hear that word sometimes. You don't need Why, is that a piano. piano. No, I've tried. You're great at the piano. I'm a I piano guy. Yeah, right. You, you That's killed such it a, at that character It's show. such an impressive talent. When did you start playing? It's just one of those weird things where... I was rich. My family... <laughs> my family was... We were 30 <laughs> seconds in. Didn't take long. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But I am very envious. Go on. Tell me. Um, so, you know, it's one of those things where growing up, I was... My, my mom wanted me to take piano lessons my sister did was older than me she was taking them and she had taken piano lessons and i fucking hated it going there i hate i heard hate somebody everything come? Uh, everything about it i hated the the instructor this woman smelled like grilled cheese <laughs> but not in the right way <laughs> it wasn't like ooh, who's making grilled cheese it was like you recently ate it no <laughs> and it didn't Yuck. go down very well and um <laughs> And it was just, it was so like intimate. You're sharing a bench. I, yes. fucking, I hated it. I hated practicing. Yeah, you're going to breathe in that person's breath. Uh. Yeah. So by eighth grade, my mom said I could quit if I switched to another instrument. So that's when I started playing guitar. Yeah. Jazz you're guitar. You're like, that's when I started jerking off. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Switch to guitar. And that was way more fun. <laughs> but it goes to show you because the piano has been a major part of my comedy career. Yeah. And... It was one of those things growing up where I was like, I hate this. Right. What's what's the point? I'm never going to use this in my life. I've used it <laughs> so much. Yes. So much. <laughs> yeah. I mean. It's great. The, song, well, the, the Harvey Weinstein song, I don't know if I can spoil it. But. Dude, I took a long time to, to answer that question. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm this get is it under great. Control. No, I have. I, I feel the same way about French. Too I, much, long. That was I, too long. I had French. <laughs> no, it was great. No, that's what I, we need. I took French growing up, and I, I mean, I actually enjoyed taking it when I when I took that's, it. But that's another thing, you're like, I'm not going to use this. And then we're shooting our stupid hustler video, and these two French bitches roll up. Next thing you know, <laughs> fucking rolling my R's. French. Très bien. Merci. Très bien. Oui. Oh, see, he fucking, he's going to speak French while playing piano I'm now and French. tag me. Yeah, yeah, he's a nightmare. Uh, what other language? Just that. What is that? Just French, French is and great. But I'm fluent because my mom was the French teacher. Perfect. I loved my French teacher, Madame Coppola. She was great. I barely speak English. Yep. <laughs> Jared, so you can say bye bye. Wave bye. It's my last episode. <laughs> You can say that. <laughs> in French, you can say au revoir or au bientôt or a tout à l'heure. You can yeah. say a tout à l'heure. Uh, yeah. That's a really nice thing to say. Yeah. A tout à l'heure. Yeah. yeah. At, at the end, we'll do a French goodbye yes. to Jared. Wouldn't that be like we're Bonsoir. Like, he's a, like he's a sailor going yes. off to war and we're waving oh. our kerchiefs at him on the deck? Salut, Jared. Yeah. <laughs> bon voyage. <laughs> bon voyage. <laughs> ne me regarde pas. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not uh, any of this. <laughs> 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 uh, tout à la prochaine. That's the best one. Oh my one. God. I just hate him. And it's like, I'd like you to, I want Francis to like really talk about like what he's doing, what he's working on, because I do want to spend a, a large chunk berating Jared. Um, I have a lot of things I want to talk to him about. I, I don't need to talk about what I'm doing. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got no, nothing. I got nothing know. fun. I just want to make sure Get people know to now. Where are you gonna follow, be at? follow Francis and check out his podcast. Oops, the podcast with Julio Gallarotti. We had pair. the big, we had the big K there. 
We had her on. I was. Listen to that episode. That was a fun one. It was great. You guys are so fun. You didn't start crying, did you? I might have. Hey. Did you? <laughs> I'm a vulnerable person. No, that's great. From time to time. I think we... We had a couple guests cry. I think you guys... Def- I was definitely in... A, I remember were... wearing sweatpants, which might meet mean that I was like menstruating just mm. I remember being like a little emotional like then so it, I might have sorry for bringing that up no I why I'm like I, he brought it up I are you crying now <laughs> I just yeah because I'm, just because like, I'm still here like my lives in Pat know where my apartment is people, like I can't handle it people like to watch people cry uh-huh. do you know that uh-huh. no not the girl I was seeing <laughs> <laughs> that was good that was wait, good. wait, wait, wait. That was good. And, and what now, way does that work? She didn't like to watch you cry or she didn't like it when you would watch her cry? No, when I would cry. She didn't like that. That was good then. That was good. <laughs> yeah. I'm the idiot. No, it's okay. That's a good so, joke. It's not your fault because it's surprising every time he, I, he lands one. But it does lend credibility to you saying what you say because you are fair. Yeah. I thought the whole point of the show was no matter what Jared says, no, he's wrong. No, I want him to evolve. I, I okay. really, my technique might be considered barbaric and like... <laughs> P- punitive <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. would be the word. Yeah. And, uh, That's the word for Pat the Spell this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, punitive. Go. <laughs> what? She's trying to help us both out. Mm. This is this is a thing we do every week. Do a spelling word? He hasn't got one right Pu- for like five weeks. Pu- you, punitive. You never, you never screw up the captions. Yes, on clips. On, on yours. Just on oh, he does better. He works really hard on mine. <laughs> he knows I'll, I'll be mad about it. I'm like, is he paying you a lot more than I pay? You? I don't. I don't understand. I think he sometimes he's like, this will go with Karen's character. She's not that bright. Let's make this weird. Who pays you more? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. I love you, Francis. Ah, that, yeah, but that's well, such a, okay. he evaded the question. That, yeah. Well, you <laughs> we're very similar I people. Think we are. I like yeah. that about That's Francis. That's a good thing about us. It's we'll leave it at that. We'll call it a, a generous tie. Yep. We tied in our generosity. <laughs> Cheers to us. Let's salut. receive some salut. salut. <laughs> Say doing? incroyable. <laughs> they <But> miss you. <laughs> You're not getting out of this word though, Pat. Yeah, punitive. I think he got it. He got it. That's, no, what's, his what's it right. That's, it. That's his first one right. That's it. That's his first one right. Mean? Punishing. Right. Oh, great. I didn't know we had to do the definition for you. <laughs> oh, it's so challenging. There was a there was a spelling bee when I worked at Barstool Sports. Oh. And we thought it was just a sponsored piece of content. So sometimes a, a brand would buy an ad where like the entire company participated in something, whether it was like the combine or the spelling bee or like winter sports day. They there were all these sponsored things. They were they were usually pretty fun actually. Yeah. And this one was the spelling bee. And halfway through, I, I was doing pretty well. Dominating. People were like I know. dropping out. Dominating. But there's like fifty people. Yeah. And the word you, it's much different to spell a word when you when it's on the line. And, and it's it, in front of people. The yeah. stakes are high. And right. out of nowhere, Dave was like someone was like, Well, what's the point of this anyway? But off camera and Dave was like, all right, I'll give $1,500 cash to the winner. And then I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I got a competitive I got really <laughs> into it. I got really into it. And I, I won. Hell yeah. I won the whole thing. Good for you. I had a word. Okay. We got to it. We, it was between me and Kevin Clancy. You wow. know Kevin. Wow. Wow. And Kevin. Like I could beat Kevin Clancy. We got, they were either. like, they're getting all the words. So we got to switch to the challenge cards. Mm-hmm. He had Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude. Yeah, would you know how to spell that? No. That's a hard one. S C H. Yep. A D D E N F R A U D. One D. Fucking cocksucker. But that wasn't that wasn't too far. So far. That's a t- that's a tough one. It's a toughie. I then had Staphylococci. Fuck out of here. Was f- that a presidential candidate? No. Michael Staphylococci. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> hey. Pretty good. <laughs> no, I, I never. Gotta be fair, Jared. He never. Oh, I he never. He never gives you credit. No, never. Mm. He just he waits for his. That's a good joke. He waits for his tweets. <laughs> tweets. <clears throat> All right. So you spelled missed, that right? No, I missed that one. But I I, I missed it by one letter because I had had a staph infection when I was a kid. Okay. So I'd seen the word spelled out before, okay. but not in like twenty five years. Right, right. And uh, then he had another word, and then I got denouement. Denouement. Which is a French word. French for why what? I told Something this story. Something like, like, uh, like deja vu kind of? Or? No, it's, uh, it's sort of the 
uh, coming down of the action or, or like oh. the ending oh. in more generally. Like but ecstasy. really, it's in like, yeah, like a movie's terms. Like, okay, think of Lord of the Rings, The Three Kings? Okay. Towers? The, three, the last one. Couldn't tell you. You yeah, this is like a cool kids podcast. Uh, yeah. We don't have to do watch that. Do, do we have to name the hobbits <laughs> next? Return of the King. Whatever the hell it is. <laughs> watched it. Was uh, Liv Tyler in it? Yes. Yeah, I watched it. She went Sorry, to my, my middle pen. school. Lucky. Did you finger? No, she was way older than I was. Oh, we have the same pen. I was like, Francis just pocketed my weed pen. Like I wasn't. With this ha- similar. Oh, it's not the same. Cheers. Look at that. Look at He's got the more Whoopsie boopsie. One. So the denouement of the trilogy of the Lord of the Rings. More simply, I'm not even going to finish that thought. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if I'm rambling, it's because I'm a little stoned. I apologize. I try to be sharper on podcasts, but. You wicked chap. What do you mean? You wicked chap. <laughs> the la- the end, it, it's, it's after the crazy climax of the action. Then there's typically like a sort of a wind down period in yes. a movie or a book or they like um like tie up some bows they come home yeah. they hug everyone they finish the battle right. and they come home this and old guy's like, still alive yeah back in the, in the village. final lord of the rings that moment was like 30 minutes long yeah when they returned to the shire and that's why everyone was like why did it go on so long yeah anyway the it means that and it's d-e-n right you want to try spell it you spell it denouement Denouement. It's a total French word. I don't know if it's D E or D E S. He just do you do you, I gave you D E N. <laughs> oh, it's D E M. D E N. Denouement. I mean, I would go N O U S M E N T. Okay, not Denouement. bad. Yeah. Or M O N T. Uh, hmm. no, it's M E N T, but uh, it's D E N, and this is where it gets weird. Yeah. O U. Yeah. E. M E N T. Yeah, that's like what? It's a feminine. That's a lot of E's. It's, I don't know. Yeah, it's they just a very do that to be. stupid. There's three vowels in a row. Yeah. Like, why would anyone need that? I <laughs> love the French. They're fucking nuts. <laughs> Look at them. Throw another E in there. Yeah, for flavor. Have you ever been to France? No. Oh, my God. I don't travel. I Have you ever been anywhere? Staten Staten Ask him Island. if he's made a girl come <laughs> next. This will be on You're a Staten Island guy? Yeah. Born and raised. Damn, bro. Yeah, I don't get, I don't get many places. I've been to like Israel for free. On birthright. You've been to Israel? Yeah. Well, that's a remarkably, un, uh, you know, exotic and f- foreign place. Yeah. I've never been anywhere other than Staten Island. Oh, except Israel. <laughs> right. <laughs> the Middle East. One of the most, con- you know, yeah. spoken about countries in the world. <laughs> one of the most influential countries in the world. You know what it is? Like, I went there on birthright and I didn't really take in any of the culture. I was young and dumb. I mean, I'm still young and dumb, but. What did what, what what did you do? You must have Chilled met with, people and, yeah. and he like met a girl. He like hooked up. No, I didn't hook up. Be with awesome. Him. I met I met kids who went to Tulane. Oh right. And you just like went to bars or something. And then yeah, we went. We hung out. Cracked come on, jokes. come on, come that on, come it. on, dude. That was dude, it. We went to the Western more. Wall. That was. <laughs> I wish I could. Were you <laughs> sitting inside and cracking luck. jokes, or were you going to yeah, bars? Yeah, on the bus. <laughs> we were on the bus. Cracking jokes. We went to all these like great places and had. Told, they were told all these great stories, but I just didn't pay attention. What about what about food? Did you have yeah, food that you go. liked? I, I had good one dish. Schnitzel. Describe one dish to us. I had us. good schnitzel and hummus. Okay. Was there? What about at the Whaling Wall? Did that impress you with all those people so so overcome yeah, by their was, belief it, it that was, they are rocking and they are committed yeah. all day? And it was separated by male and female. It was interesting. There you go. Listen, listen. This is good. Wow. He has. Layers. I didn't, I didn't put a note. I didn't put a note in the in the wall though. I was, it was pretty. Yeah, that's like a thing. Why didn't it you is. do that? It that's is. what I'm saying. Like I wasn't like. Well, you can go back. To, like, you can go back. You're totally gonna headline in Jerusalem. <laughs> you know the the famous note moment about the oh. wall. When I spit, it's my ice. I can spit my ice back. Get up here. What do you think about that etiquette, Francis? Was that gross that I spit my own ice out? Yeah, I just didn't want to. It didn't bother me. Yeah, Jared, you know? shut up. If a, if a young lady is <laughs> kind enough to be willing to put ice in her mouth, <laughs> far be it for me to tell her what she does at the end of it. What a metaphor. What a, what a sentence. Yep. <laughs> Jared. So, I just, like, I hey, just if she went wants home. to spit ice back in a drink, she could do what she wants. <laughs> I just went home to meet my nephew, baby Robert. <laughs> Welcome, baby Robert, to the wow. world. He's absolutely perfect. He's so cute. 
Um, and I left Ernest with our friend Emma Wilman. Yeah. Love Emma Wilman. Love Emma Wilman. A Mainer like me. Right. Got a friend of the show. Great time with Ernest, et cetera. Emma had to go headline in San Diego. So I texted Jared. Hey, Jared, can you stay at my place Thursday night and like into Friday morning just to walk Ernest? He goes, can you wait, ask? Wait, 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 wait. Send your, read your follow-up text. No, I'm not reading my text. This is, not no, my, no, no, this no, is no, my version no, no. of the <laughs> events. <laughs> Yeah, and don't leave out a big, don't leave out a big text that you a big sent. text, and you were like, I was what like, was the I, next text? I could ask Chloe. Okay. I, and I said, I, I gave him an out. I'm telling you right now, the way that I see the dynamic of this relationship, Jared Schwartz should leap at any opportunity to help me. <laughs> Literally any. Should drop everything he's doing and fucking walk my dog. The how much more I value my dog's life than Jared's? It's immmeasurable. That's understandable. That's understandable. <laughs> it's That's immeasurable. Understandable. So when I ask I him and let him know that I trust him enough with my dog, and he goes, "Can you ask Chloe?" He says, "I have dinner plans." You live with your mom. You don't have dinner plans. You're not an adult. <laughs> You can't have dinner plans. That's how I don't respect you enough to respect your dinner plans. End of show. Do you live at Do you live at Stat, in Staten Island now? Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> you, respe- you respect me a little bit more. Oh heavens! <laughs> it's just so inconvenient. Francis, hey, look, oh, I, have, I, I, I cannot. I cannot. I will not shit on Staten Island. Thank I you. don't know it well enough. I, I I hear the stereotypes. I don't know them to be true myself. So I, I have all the respect in the world for Staten Island. I know it's a hardworking place. I just, for your sake, for someone yeah. who has to be in this city every night, yeah, pretty much performing comedy late. That journey home is so long. Yeah. And I realize that, you know, money may dictate you got to do it, but there's some pretty, you know, I find just, find five roommates and like bunk up in a There it is. Who's been U- saying that? Union Square or I think something. every single guest we've had on has said that. <laughs> Have they all? It's just here the thing is, is like true? the lack of ambition. Like the <laughs> fact that he wouldn't be like Oh, my God, I'd love to fucking be able to stay in the city one night because I can do spots all night long. I can wake up. I'll already be in the city the next day, like like for starters. Yeah. Just the sort of like leaning into this late like bloomer thing is just getting old. It's getting old. I'm trying to think. You got to bloom. I'm trying to think (laughs) if there's something. I got a plan with my job that's going on right now. What do you do? What's your job? I also disagree with his job. What do you do? I work in schools. As a it's power stupid. He's already gotten in trouble for saying some shit at a comedy show before. You're gonna lose that job. It's like gonna, if, he's if you're if you're trying to build a social media presence and you're posting clips of your stand up, they're gonna see it and they're gonna take it away from you. Yeah, you think so? He's yeah. just so averse to like a backbreaking American I, get your hands dirty fucking J O B. That's what I think you should get. Something you don't have to stress out about or worry about. That that'll make you money. Move. Like be a mover. What? Be a mover. Be a mover. Be a bartender. Oof. Movers. Service. <laughs> I respect. Just about the worst job I can imagine. I respect. Imagine. But you can probably make if you do like two jobs in one day. You could probably make a thousand dollars. Here, let me ask yeah, you a reach. question. Let me ask you a question. When you moved in here, did you hire a moving company? Yeah, Microsine. Okay. Oh, you paid him? Yeah. Okay. But I would. I would always like find a comic mover. Okay. All right. Imagine not having him and having to to do it. Did you? You know, he must have carried the heavy things, right? Oh yeah, he did. Him or did you? Uh, Robert Dean. No, no, no. So you had, you had multiple. Great. Highly recommend Microscene. Great you hired, mover. You had more, multiple people. Two. So you didn't have to carry couches and stuff. Two men. I didn't carry shit, Francis. What month I did you move in? I walked around in heels with a little wand. <laughs> what mo- what month did you move in? June. Okay, so it's June in New York City. <laughs> and you have to deal with this. And thing. you have. <laughs> You have to move every day, pretty much, or like three or four times a week, right? That's what that's what working at a moving company yeah. is. June, July, August. What would you have to be paid to do that job for a living? Me? Yeah. Three thousand dollars an hour. Yeah, that's. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, that is that's the amount for which I might be like, well, I can't really turn this down. <laughs> right. It's it would be really. Bad move for my life if but I turn down this money. I, She's offered 20s, that and service. In my twenties, I, I I waited tables, you know, while I was like. But this job, this job has security. 
Yours. Yeah. No, it doesn't because you're uh, gonna get fired because of the content you post. Yeah. We already went maybe, over that. Maybe, but I, but maybe. dude, you can't you can't be afraid. Also, the money's trash. To post. What you've told me, the money's like a hundred and seventy dollars yeah. a day. Isn't that what you told me it is? Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. Is it's that, not did, terrible. If you're working for three hours, maybe it's not terrible. But if you're working, I'm working at, from eight to three. Five. Seven what is hours. That? Seven hours divided by one hundred and seventy. It's about twenty an hour. Yeah, it's twenty twenty one an hour. You can make fifty bucks an hour bartending waiting tables easy. Really? Oh, I don't know where she's. I did. Wherever she. I mean, I would make at least. She's like also a female. Four or five hundred bucks a shift. I used to make seven hundred bucks a shift when I worked brunch. It was eleven to four. Where'd you work? This like mom and pop place called Greenpoint Heights for two years. I worked at Sushi Samba. I worked at Public House. Wow. You can make money. This is New York. No, I know. I know. Hey, I, I bartended. I just found it really challenging. Um, I, worked I, found that, I feel like you would like, love it. Job like everybody would week. love you and you would like make bank. It's just, it was like you're on your feet from it's you know, hard. It's like super hard. 6 p.m. until 4 a.m. You yeah. like don't have the next day sometimes. You're running right. the whole time. Yeah. You're dirty. You're sweating. It's a hard job. It's My tough. You're a drink too. like me. I'm an alcoholic, so I'm like trying to quit drinking and then yeah. bartending. <laughs> what a psycho! <laughs> and then and then I started tutoring, and tutoring was the best. I uh, bet that's good. I it I was can't, I can't do that. amazing. Did you do it? God, Jared. No, no. I said I. No, that sounds like a great job. I can't do that. Jared wanted us to know that he's not smart enough to tutor. <laughs> As if we didn't, <laughs> didn't already know that. Know that. <laughs> I hate that Karen uh, pointed me out. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I was just agreeing. By the way, what is par- <laughs> what is paraprofessional? I'm like a nanny for students. He t- well, 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 he why, tickles. why paraprofessional? Oh, I don't know. That's just the name of the New York City Department of Education called it. I think they're describing your brain. Does that mean almost like demi professional? Like yeah, that's what it sounds professional? like. Professional. What or is paralyzed. a paratrooper versus a trooper? I couldn't tell you. What is para as a? Can you look it what, up? What's like paralegal? As a prefix, what is para? Right, oh, that's it. What pa- am I talking about? Par- well done, Pat- uh, Patrick Samaha. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> He's absolutely right. And that makes me feel really stupid for but not wait, what's that. But what about a paralegal, though? Paralegal would be like half, legal, half, half a lawyer, lawyer right? right? I was talking to someone yesterday who works in uh, social services and does comedy. And they're like almost the same. But maybe they're like a clean comic. I'm pretty clean. Are you? Okay. He's clean enough because, you know, he's like, I mean, some of your jokes have like are about calm. Yeah. It's paraprofessional. It's a, it's a subsection of like the class, so it's not like it's not like a regular class. People with special needs students. What is para? Oh. Mean? oh, out of the class, like a fraction of the class. Uh, do you work with special needs yeah. students? You're responsible for. That's actually great. I know. Teach me a lot of patience. That's why I'm being patient with this job and moving out. Okay, here's a question. Oh, no, shut <laughs> up! Don't you want to punch him? I hate him. <laughs> oh, it makes my blood boil. That's why I'm being patient with my dad and moving out. Get out of your mom's house. <laughs> what am I going to go do? Walk around the streets of New York looking for a job? <laughs> what do you think people do? Dude, go get a LinkedIn profile <laughs> yeah. and start trying. You could get a job at like a, you know, a tech sales place. I or mean, a, or a, I don't know, man. Dude, the, the job market right now yeah. is outrageously well, I, that's how that's why job. i keep recommending the bartender waitress thing because i'm telling you nobody wants to do those jobs Dude, you'll the get the best is, the shifts is, and you'll make all the money he's like he's like so i can't, take, right he goes, I can't take a night off of comedy and i've said multiple times we need a night off from you like he <laughs> like that's one of his arguments so i was like i can't i was like what you can't not follow me around the, the stand all night one night a week i had i had one bad incident <laughs> last year and a teacher reported me because i showed her a joke and so what now, a cunt what's her name Right, I want to, yeah. <laughs> I almost had Jared not come today because I was like, we'll pretend like he's missing and then we'll have Francis write a blog about him and he actually will die. Ooh, <laughs> shots fired. Look at this. I thought I was <laughs> battling this way and all of a sudden it's a two-front war, which we all know ultimately but, but <laughs> no, I love Francis caused the end for the Nazis. <laughs> It did. The fact that Russia joined. They should never have engaged so Russia. <laughs> so smart. So I smart. know. They weren't going to beat a guy who doesn't care about his people. Oh, my I'll God. I'll starve him to death to win a war. I don't Battle care. Battle of 
I think it was the Battle of Stalingrad that yeah. really was just like the amount of Russians who died. Was Stalin the one with the five-year plan? I can't yeah, you're remember. Just like Stalin. I can't remember. The five-year plan is that a joke? No, because he's stalling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But is it, that a joke? But it might be. Did you mean that that way? <laughs> because that would be a good joke. <laughs> the know. man with the five-year plan because he was stalling. Is that why? Did you no, just come up no, with that? I just, uh, that's the one thing I know about Stalin. <laughs> if that is about him, then it, <laughs> I mean that's an, it, that should be a plan. joke. Yeah. If it's not, yeah, Jerry, put it in your act. But yeah, I got, I got. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I don't know why I focus. You're the host of this podcast. No, I know, but it's like you can't help it, right? You <laughs> want to engage with him. him. He makes me happier. I know, because he's such a servant. He's like so good at like. <laughs> he's pretty. He's pretty uh, warm. Yeah. He's very warm. Thank he you. smiles. He like pays attention. He asks you specific things about he's your got life. Got a good laugh. You're a very likable guy. Thank you. I, I wish the girls said that too. I think secretly <laughs> she. I don't want to. I don't want to like unveil the conceit of the podcast, but I think secretly she probably thinks you're pretty great. Yeah. Ugh, this is his last show. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, think of a clever sign off. And I've been Jared for 47 like just, episodes. <laughs> maybe you should bleep what I just said because I feel like that is too. No, she don't listen to the podcast. It's all right. Who's? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't mean. I don't mean that you have a crush on it. No, I Do know. Do you have a girlfriend? No. No. It's a point of contention. Are you working on it? No. What do you mean? He was. He was let go. <laughs> let go from no. your girlfriend? <laughs> you, is there like a severance package? <laughs> yeah. We will continue to have sex once a week for three <laughs> months until you get back on your feet. Oh, That's exactly how it went. That would be great. <laughs> I rekindled the flame when I was home. Or he had been like talking to this me. This week? Yeah. Wow. I don't like him now. I don't know. Who? It's this guy that I hooked up with, like, in between boyfriends. He, like, lives in Massachusetts. Mm. And he's, like, really hot, like, so hot. But he knows how hot he is. Mm. Something about that. I don't know. I just want to be the pretty one, you know? Mm. Mm. Anyway, fuck that guy. Oh, I lived in the burbs for 72 hours. <laughs> I did very well. Wow. The thing is, like, I drink too much coffee when I go home because I think it's going to make things more interesting. You know, I'm like, this will be more lively when I fold <laughs> this towel. You know, like, I'll get more jazzed about the news all day. <laughs> How do they watch the news so much? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. And That's I'm happy. Funny. It makes me happy going home. I like walking dogs and looking at trees and listening to birds and, like, nature. But then it's like six o'clock rolls around and I'm like, what do we do? <laughs> like my little sister one day goes, we got so much, <laughs> we got so much work done today. And I'm like, what do we do? <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? <laughs> I say the same thing. I'm like, I wrote one sketch. I, think I got so much work done today. Yeah, we're going to fix that one. <laughs> you know, once I get back to work, things will be good. You've been saying that for a while. The school year has started already. Oh, this is, so well, my sister treated me like, oh, sorry. Ernest. I had offers. I have offers. My sister treated me like a slave when I was home, which was fine. She just had a baby. I volunteered for that. But one of the um, things I was assigned to do was find her fall decorations. So they were all in Tupperware containers downstairs. And so I went to lift the lid off one, and I took this, <laughs> and I broke it. So <laughs> um, I thought this would be a nice way to <laughs> let her know. Um, Looks like a back scratcher for Ernest. Sorry, Colleen. Sorry I broke your stuff. I'll get you a gift card. How old is this dog? I don't know. What do you think? Seven? Ernest, how old are you? How do you not know that? You're my mother. <laughs> Seven, eight? He's very, he's very uh, Isn't he the gentle. best dog? He's Wouldn't you, gentle. like, if you lived at home with your mom, let's say, mm -hmm. and a friend of yours said, hey, do you want to save my luxury building and watch my dog? <laughs> What do you think? Uh, and I'll if pay I lived you in Staten Island, I'll pay you? absolutely. But yeah. then follows up the text. Of, but hey, I can ask someone else. Of course, else. I'll give you an out. I gave you the option to be a fucking piece of shit, and you chose that. You read her follow up as a "I don't really want you to do this" or something. How'd you read that? Yeah. Yeah. That's how you read that? But it, you That's know what? Absurd. But no, I don't want you to do it. But like, hey, I have someone else. If you're not around. You. Yeah, that's like okay, me. Even if, even if it were that, which it <laughs> isn't, she's very clearly just giving you an out. Yeah. Yeah. You should still have said, oh, I want to do it, though. 
Yes, that's great. Ta- now you say your side. Now, uh, I was like, so what time? Oh, no, we're not doing this because my issue was the reluctance. Yeah. <laughs> so then she withdrew it from you. Yes. Right. Okay, if you weren't going to say yes him, immediately. Then I went nuclear, right? Then I overreact. I'm like, you're fired. <laughs> it's your last fucking episode. Did you say that, really? Yeah, yeah. Were you this mad about yeah. it? I like being mad. Here's the thing. Like, some of it's performative. I like being mad. <laughs> <laughs> what a thing to say. I love it. Uh, Jared, I like do you. Do you feel alive when you're mad? Yeah, my heart races, my blood pumps. Do you? Are you able to control your anger? I might think, no, I let it rip, sort of, and then I sometimes do the same. I'll be like, you didn't know I was like, I'm, ca- I'm kind of kidding, mm. which is shitty. Yeah, that's bad. Um, <laughs> that's definitely like a But bad. are you? Um, It's like, I will be 30% mad, but I will convey that I'm 80% mad. Mm. Mm-hmm. Do you <laughs> do you drop, like if you, would so you, would you throw oh. something at a wall? Oh, uh, what? Like a glass. No, I'm would not. You have, if you had a plate in your hand, you, no. would you drop it? No. Nah. The only reason I use that specific yeah, what is happened? because I did that one time. Yeah. I was so mad mm. about what was going on that I uh, had a whole plate in my hand and I just dropped it. Of what? I didn't throw it. I dropped it. You knew it would break. It was, uh, yeah. you wanted it Shattering to be Shattering a plate. Yeah. What was it was a very <laughs> petulant thing to do. <laughs> yeah. What was on the plate? Petulant. Oh, go. Go ahead. Two words on the well done. He's wow. two for two. He really is. And they were Guys seeing the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Guys the ball. <laughs> two P words, yeah. too. Oh. Pee pee pat. Pee pee pat. Yeah, no. So I then I yeah, then I did like overreact, which is, you know, partially like I was also like again, I was in the burb, so I was super bored. So mm-hmm. I was like, let me start a fight too. I'm not sorry a fight, but like let me just get too mad for this. <laughs> but it's the reluctance that was my issue. You know? Yeah. I get that. But whatever. And we then can. she didn't want to give me a time. But I, I, I think. It shouldn't have been it. It, it. Do you mind if I. Go for it. Have a, try to play therapist here? Oh, uh, yeah. Second? Please. No, that's what Why do doing. I feel like devil's advocate is about to fucking. No, no. Right. I think this is the middle ground. All right, all right. That if you had gotten mad at him for not being willing to come in and do the podcast or join you for a stand up thing or whatever. I could understand that. Yeah. But I think that th- like that would warrant anger. Yeah. But the the fact that he wouldn't eh. <coughs> if, if he, what was your excuse again? I had dinner on a show. Where? Like you were performing on a show? Yeah. I had uh, my show at the same that we had Julia on. It was great. Well, so then you were already so, in New York? <laughs> yeah. I was coming in. She yeah. said she said Thursday evening. And I said when? What do you think I do every night? Do you know what I mean? Well, that like, that sounds like you should have done it. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm back. Now I'm back against. <laughs> I forgot to, my, it's just this it's is, fine. I see. What, I see what you're saying. I also like. I've been on like a like. I just hate people who don't love dogs. Like it really fucking irritates but me. But do you you took him saying that as like I don't like dogs. He doesn't though. Do you not? Not really. See. So you knew that. I don't like that personality trait. Yeah, I don't really understand people that don't like dogs. I like cute small dogs. Like, you know. Listen to that fairy. Did you hear that sentence? Shut the fuck up. Cute small dogs. Shut the fuck up. Aren't you embarrassed? Also, doesn't this qualify <laughs> as a cute small dog? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What type of fucking... I don't po- mind him. That's what it, he got you bit once. Didn't you get mind. bit once? No. no. He got he bit, bit last you? week? He tried one time. Ernest has never accident. bitten if you anyone. Like, if you like bite him or like do something to Karen, he'll get you. He'll, if you bite him? Anyone. <laughs> no. <laughs> you bite the dog? <laughs> You bit the dog. No. No. What, what you, would make you bite a dog? <laughs> or if you do something to Karen. I, what are you doing to Karen? Yeah, like, what? what? I heard it's the fine. Other. I get it. Like, I, there are people who aren't, like, I'm just, like, head over heels. Like, every dog I see, like, can do no wrong. You know what the thing was, too, though? I didn't even enter her text, and she wrote, you're fired. Yeah. <laughs> How much time did you not answer for? It was, like, hours. And when you read that, did you think uh, you were actually fired? And then I still He's said, here now. can you ask Chloe? And he still said, can you ask Chloe? He's a dick bag. He sucks. <laughs> he just sucks. He fucking should live with his mom, and he's totally fired. And he can do his podcast from there. How long ago did this happen? Freaking Thursday. Ooh. The it's wound fresh. is fresh. It's fresh. And you're here. So that is. I didn't tell him he was allowed to come today until 2 p.m. 
<laughs> yeah, got him. <laughs> got him. And now that he's here, tell the people what you'd like most about being on the podcast. I love <laughs> having a platform to speak on. I hate how he says that. <laughs> I hate how he calls our 3,000 top subscribers a platform. Hey, that's it's no joke. 3,000? You know, <laughs> she's exaggerating. No, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. You have to think about this. All right. Okay? If you were standing on a stage with a microphone yeah. and there were 3,000 people That'd be cool. there to listen to you, mm-hmm. to say what the two of you had to say, it'd be the greatest night of your lives. Well, Gerald would go first. That so 2,000 would leave. People, <laughs> <laughs> that is how many people are you uni- listening to what you have to say. Just because they're not all sitting together doesn't mean that they're not listening. You it's really the are. Uh, the glass is half full. That is a guy. remarkable number of people. Yeah. If it were 15, I would say, okay, maybe try something different. But <laughs> 3,000 is a ton. You're you're a really positive person. I try Good to be. Good things will come to it's you. It's hard. No, I know. I try. It's, it's funny. My girlfriend would not say that I'm a particularly positive person. Well, that was Do you have any tips for me? <laughs> About becoming more positive? <laughs> how many tips? Yeah, or so just, many people are you tips. just saying in general? in general? He just does. Why would you ask that what right I, now? Yeah, that's what he does. I, like, was, I feel like we were in the middle of something I there. know, we were. We were on a roll. And positivity. Yeah. He was about to talk about, like, my girlfriend wouldn't say that. Something. Is this <laughs> a tip? Hey, tips. Is this a tip section? <laughs> <laughs> Here's a tip. Shut up. <laughs> I think I, I have a tip for you. Can I give you a tip? Please. <laughs> Please. You a real tip? I want a real tip. That's why I'm I feel like I'm coming out very condescending, and I apologize. No. It's hard to not with him. If I am, I whatever. No, I apologize. I don't care. Uh, no need for apologies. I would say I would say that Ooh, nice sometimes job. when I see you, I feel as if when you're performing that you might be speaking with somewhat of an affect. What does that mean? Whether it's like... Putting, uh, speaking in a different way than the, than you yourself speak in conversation. Mm. You put a little Staten Island on it. I feel like. Yeah, or or I don't even know. I just it's something something a little different, and I don't know. Th- that always feels weird to me. Yeah. I think your jo- jokes are better expressed the way that you speak yourself. You you know you speak yeah. yourself. You can still like change and exaggerate and all that, of course. But like right. if you actually put on like a weird accent or. I don't even know that that always to me always feels weird because people will figure you out. Yeah. Do you know, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. It's an, it's like a cadence thing. Cause I'm like thinking about the way you deliver your jokes. You speak the way you, your jokes are the way you speak. Yeah. And that's then, then there's consistency between what you say on stage, (laughs) the way you are on a podcast. Yeah. It's just like, you're like, Oh, this, I know what I'm getting. This is, that's who they are. I I believe it more, you know? I think it'll come with time, too, when you're just really comfortable being yourself up there. But, yeah, there's, like, a sort of, like, I can identify. Like, I could write the, like, upturns in the sentences, like, at the end of your sentences. You mm-hmm. go up. I appreciate that. Do you use words like bro a lot on stage? I think so. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't, I don't think I do. <laughs> do you use dog Tell us stage? one of your jokes right now. Like, that's my right, dog. What's Not up, really. dog? I don't think so. No? No. I should though, right? No. <laughs> no. I would not tell you to do that. No, we don't need more bros <laughs> in your. I feel like you use wor- these words sometimes, and That's you don't use them in conversation, <laughs> <laughs> which is why I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Am I wrong, Pat Samaha? <laughs> Samaha. Cuz. Cuz. Yeah, that's definitely one I've seen you say on stage. And <laughs> I've seen you say that on stage. I think you could lean into this like endearing, pitiful. I want like I want girls to like me thing more. Yeah. I think that the crowd. I think that's your pocket for that's like sweet. people responding to you. Yeah. Yeah, figure that out. Or when maybe. you try to be like a dick, mm. I don't like it. Because it's not who you are. You are a nice guy. You yeah. are. I can't be a dick. I don't even know how to. I don't even know what drugs she's talking about when I come across as a dick. Hmm. There's one where you're you're too cool. Do you know that? Do you know that uh, this guy was producing a lot of shows? <coughs> I know. I talked about it all the time on this podcast. He uh, 
He did. It. I did one of his shows. Over the pandemic? Yeah. And yeah. it was packed, the one at the restaurant? It was up on a roof. Oh, that one when the cops came. <laughs> I They he walked the up during my set. <laughs> it's so funny. They're like, this guy, you're good. <laughs> you guys are fine. He can't be doing anything. He's like, are you running for mayor? <laughs> they were like, who's running this show? And I said, not me. I <laughs> know, <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bert's like, let me I get that it, 50. And I was like, I'm a nobody or something. Mm-hmm. I just instantly absolved myself of any responsibility Guilt? yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or or yeah exactly culpability yeah. and that was pretty i don't, I don't want to say cowardly but I, I shouldn't have just been like it's not me you know <laughs> i didn't like that about myself no that was a great show it was i appreciate you doing that what roof was that on not the tiny copper which has body. been excommunicated right oh con body oh cool con body roof derek came to stay with ernest my replacement i mean which derek Derek Drescher. Oh, yeah, I know him. And, yeah, and it's just sort of like grown man who has his own cat and, like, a job and stuff. Like, he's willing to, you know, just, like, help a friend out. That's nice. Yeah. Do you trust everybody who watches your dog? Yeah. If, and I, but I'm like, you have to have met him before. That's the only criteria. Mm. Because if I send somebody who's never met before, he might be like, hey, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was pretty sure he didn't mean to not do it. Well, it doesn't matter because what does this mean, Pat? Oh. This is a sweet boy right here. This is like you. <laughs> You're a very sweet boy. Yeah, but I got to start evolving into, <laughs> into a man. <laughs> this is the shit he says on this podcast yeah. that makes me think this is a fucking hysterical podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not even kidding you. You like have this ability to just out of nowhere so say like, something really so weirdly <laughs> introspective yeah. and like uh, sort of grandiose <laughs> as if you are out of nowhere taking this three mile bird's eye view of your right. life. And uh, But he's going to show up late next week. <laughs> and it has nothing to do with what... He's going to show up it, late. Yeah. He will have posted a clip with minimal laughs. <laughs> He'll do bad stuff. I need stuff. to start evolving. <laughs> It's also like a weirdly kind of AI thing to say, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. Like you just don't even know how to be a human. You're just like, I need to, you know, <laughs> I need to update right. my thinking. I think it's like less Adderall, more push-ups. Are you a big Adderall guy? I just got back on it this week. It was a whole month. Was so what, you're cycling? I don't know. I, was, uh, I thought maybe the Adderall was it. But was what? The problem. Uh-huh. But the, the problems were still going on without the Adderall. Did what are the problems? Can you... Sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's no, your please, podcast. No, I got I to gotta, no. gotta up my thinking. <laughs> what? He has to up his thinking. That's the way you put that? That's what you just said. No, no you said, he didn't. You what said he said? you need to evolve. Yeah. And then I need to up my thinking. I, I said you need to update your thinking. Up the, yeah, update. Update. Up it. What is... Uh, he needs to up his thinking. thinking. That's I do. You know what? I said that to my Uber, what picked me up that brought me to the driveway. I go, because it was really, no, not brought me to my driveway. It was bringing me to the airport. I was so rude and snappy to this guy. So he picks me up here and you just have to like circle out. It's very intuitive. Like Not for me. No, you. that's not your fault. <laughs> we know whose fault that was. And so he's driving and I just, without hesitation, I was like, all right, let's start thinking. <laughs> <laughs> You said that? Too? Yes. I was like, all right, let's start thinking now. All right, drive. We're going to the <laughs> Like he was my dad or something, you know. And he did though. Yeah, he I started need to thinking. My thinking. Yeah, you need to update your software <laughs> in your brain. That's and, and, and are, are you? Do you have major focus issues? Yeah. Are you prescribed Adderall? Yeah. I wasn't prescribed until later in life, though. When did you start? Uh, 2019. Oh, that's not so long ago. Right. Have you found a noticeable change in your, what your productivity or your, yeah, life Writing. since you, and I mean, Adderall is what brought me to do comedy. Really? Yeah. Oh, it was, uh, yeah. why? It was a whole, well, because once I took it, I was able to think more clear, and was like, oh, this is what I want to do with my life, and then that's when I got into the school, and then that's when I got into comedy. I was like, that's my life. I'm focused on making that my life. Wouldn't it be funny if his, like, foggy pre-Adderall brain was actually the funny one? (laughs) 
That, that, is, and that, that is what I fear. Yeah. yeah. You that's know what a, I mean? That's a great point. Yeah. And that his like Adderall makes it go hack. <coughs> <laughs> like, that's what I, that's what like, I fear is that like. <laughs> no, kidding. that one was a You've, lifeguard with no ambition. That's when you were a lifeguard? Were yeah. you smoking a lot of weed or something? Yeah. You were? Yeah. Do you smoke a lot of weed now? No. Do you smoke any weed? My, my mind is here and there. Not really. My <laughs> mind is super clear now. Really clear. Totally empty. Do you drink? Not really. No. no. Really? He doesn't really drink. No. You don't drink and you don't smoke. Do you do so you don't do anything that alters your mind? He smokes. Adderall. I'll smoke no, I really I rarely smoke anymore. I'll smoke. I'll have like I'll have like a black cherry white claw every now and then right. if it's offered to me. Right. <laughs> because yeah, he's you know a weirdly specific drink. No, I know. He's like the grandmother at a wedding. <laughs> he's like, Where's my <laughs> black cherry white claw? Nana loves these. But but the irony of this <laughs> Is oh, that as us. Pat Samaha <laughs> Sama. fetched me <laughs> and brought me yes. up, we entered the elevator with a woman wearing a mask. Neither he nor I okay. was wearing a mask. Mm-hmm. And I said to the lady, oh, I'm sorry. We don't have masks. We are both. I'm vaccinated. Whatever. We're vaccinated. And she goes, she rips her mask off her face. <laughs> And then sips her gigantic Stop. black cherry Stop white it. claw. Stop it. Are you joking? A fucking 24 ounce Shut up. humongo white claw. She's like the OE like, of white claw. I don't claws. give a fuck. Shut up. And we were like, oh shit, it's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday. Good for you. We made it. That's hilarious. So I did feel like a bitch for apologizing for not wearing a mask. But I, this, this woman no, was just... clearly. Didn't give a fuck. Just a fuck. Did she have birds? There's a lady who lives in my building who has birds. No. no. <laughs> That's the old birds. <laughs> birds. Birds. On her shoulders. A toucan? No. She has um, a parrot. What are they called? Macaws or whatever. Apparently, birds are horrible pets. Well, then they live for decades. You can't, exactly, and you can't leave them. No, they need care. They need, but they get like lonely and die. And maybe? they'll pull out their own <laughs> feathers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? They'll be like, no, I don't want to be a bird oh anymore. God. And they pull out their feathers until so they die. Birds. They oh, stole, no shit. They you stole, stink. They you pick turtle. an animal to like. I, like <laughs> I hate him. I like turtles. <laughs> turtles? Yeah. Shut I had, up. I had one. That's not an animal. But a, ho- a hawk I like rocks. I like rocks. <laughs> That's my favorite animal. <laughs> I hate your gut. Turtles are animals. I guess. They're cool when they like all go into the ocean when they're babies. I had a, I had a, um, I was confused about the sort of, uh, you know, the scientific I know Whole, you're always concerned about scientific uh, stuff, Francis. Like, I know an, that about What you. is an animal? What's a mammal? Right. What's, what's an, an amphibian? amphibian? I thought All a turtle that. was an amphibian. But it turns out animals, everything's an animal. Yeah, that's the blanket. Mosquitoes are animals. Right. Right. Birds are animals. Anything with like a multi-cells or so many cells. Yeah. yeah. Bigger They're all than animals an amoeba. everything. Yeah, okay. It's pretty much all encompassing. Great. But then then it gets harder with mammal versus fish. Mammal, versus fish. Versus is that earth science? Hmm? Yep. Is that sort earth, of. earth science? Yeah. Well, think, no, it's uh, probably more biology. Yeah, more biology. Your mm. science is what about magma and gases and, and lava. Yeah, Earth science is more geology and sort of uh, archaeology, maybe. And archaeology is more the study of civilizations. Geology is is your Earth science. Yeah. yeah. Do you know the difference between magma and lava? I don't either, but I bet Francis does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But magma, no. uh, la- lava is is flowing. It has to be flowing, flowing hot. Yeah, right. And magma is a little harder. Magma, magma can be solidified, cooled yeah. lava rock. Cool. Magma is is anything. I, it, it might. Oh, even, it's more all encompassing. Well, it might only be the cool rock, but it, it might Got also it. be like just the term that means it, all of it. Gotcha. Do you know the difference between schmegma? No, we're going to get it. <laughs> and magma? No. Magma? No. <laughs> no. You're stupid. Well, okay. magma, as we just described, we just is, is lava rock. But schmegma, schmegma is the goo that resides underneath the foreskin of an uncircumcised penis. An uncircumcised. Of course I would have known you know, about that. When the shades pulled down. Yeah. Which would you rather have covering your face? <laughs> <laughs> and on, on that note, where could they find you, Francis, in the, in the upcoming Is that month? the end? He, Is well, he allowed to do I, that? I guess <laughs> since this is his last episode, I'm going to let him. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh boy. Uh, check out Oops the Podcast. We've got we had Karen on and uh, yeah. I'm uh, if you like comedy, you know. <laughs> I'm on the road. <laughs> Tell them. I'm on the road coming up. <laughs> check it out. Road gigging. FrancisEllis.com. You'll find it. Thank you very much for coming on, Francis. It's a pleasure. If if this is my last episode, I'm glad you were here to share it with me. <laughs> I'm actually not sure if it is or not. Oh, so such a positive Thank you, Francis. This guy. I needed this. It was a lot of fun. Thank thank you for having Check me. Check out the No Need for Apologies podcast because they sent me the shirt and it looks really cute on me, so props to them. Nice. Good marketing on their I got their a show part. tonight. Nobody. In my backyard. Oh god. Karen was supposed to come, but she bailed, of course. Nobody's mm. ba- she didn't bail. <laughs> She has a strict no Staten Island policy. It's too far. I'm producing three shows in three days. Yeah, I have, they dinner, all I have dinner plans, Jared. Because I live in my own, I'm an, I'm an independent, <laughs> sovereign, free person. Nice. Sovereign, that's a tough one. <laughs> no, he, no. Oh, you you, skipped, you skipped a lot of letters. He sovereign, S O V E R. E I G N. Sovereign. Yeah. This yeah. was a great episode. All right. Thanks for Thank listening, you. guys. Appreciate it. It's only she is. It's only she is.